Globy. What am I doing? Well, I'm writing in my journal. What's a journal? Well, a journal is a book where people can write down their thoughts, feelings, and ideas. Some people write in a journal every day. People also keep scientific notebooks to record exactly what they're doing or observing during a special activity. In fact, you may write in a science notebook when you're conducting scientific experiments. Not only is writing fun, but it also helps you remember your thoughts and ideas once you've written them down. Let me give you an example. Here's a quote that I wrote down the other day because I thought it was really interesting. Ah, here it is. If I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. So what do these words mean? To me, this quote means this person believed he was able to accomplish great things because he built his ideas off of the work of great people who came before him. And he wants to give them credit for their ideas and inspire him. But do you know who wrote those words? I'll give you a hint. Some people consider him the greatest scientist to ever live. His name was Sir Isaac Newton, a famous physicist, mathematician, and astronomer. In 1675, he wrote the now famous quote about standing on the shoulders of giants in a letter to Robert Hooke, another great scientist of the 17th century. You may not know this, but Robert Hooke was the first person to use the word cell to describe the basic unit of life. Newton developed many ideas that changed the way we look at our world. Using ideas from an Italian monk, Newton built the world's first working reflecting telescope. The telescopes that NASA uses today are much more powerful than Newton's, but they still use his ideas about mirrors to bend and magnify images, letting us see much farther into the universe. So we owe Newton a great deal of thanks. Just like Galileo and Leonardo da Vinci, Newton wrote down his ideas in journals. Over the years, Newton was able to look back at his journals to prove new theories that even today help us understand much more about the world of science. Of course, you know about another famous scientist who is known for filling up journal after journal with words and pictures. Albert Einstein. Today, people refer to Einstein as the father of modern physics. Albert Einstein published over 300 papers on many different scientific topics. That's a lot of writing. But he did it because he wanted to get his ideas down on paper, and he wanted to share his thoughts with as many people as possible. George Washington Carver used his journals to teach farmers to rotate their cotton crops with peanuts and sweet potatoes in order to keep the soil healthy. When there were too many peanuts for the market, Carver invented more than 300 ways to use the peanut and kept daily notes about the results of his peanut experiments. And Annie Jump Cannon's notes and diagrams of the night sky became the first published catalogs of stars. Her detailed journals helped develop a classification system for stars that is still used today. But scientists aren't the only ones who keep journals. Our world might be very different if it weren't for the stories written down by famous explorers like Meriwether Lewis and William Clark. In detailed diaries, Lewis and Clark described the natural wonders, the unique plants and animals, and the people they encountered as they traveled across what is now the western part of the United States. The nearly 5,000 pages they wrote during the two-year expedition guaranteed these two men an important place in history and let us see what our country looked like during their time. We can learn so much about people and their discoveries by reading the journals they leave behind. No one knows exactly what happened to Amelia Earhart on her last flight over the Pacific Ocean, but we do know from her journals why she decided to become a pilot. After a 10-minute flight over Los Angeles in an open cockpit biplane, Amelia wrote, as soon as we left the ground, I knew myself I had to fly. What about today's scientists and explorers? Do they still write down their thoughts and observations in journals? Well, of course they do. They may not write them in actual notebooks. They may use computers. But they still make careful observations and record their discoveries in great detail. Let's check in with some modern day explorers. Astronauts on board the International Space Station. Right now, they're conducting experiments and writing down their findings so other scientists can study the results. The International Space Station is the largest man-made satellite that orbits Earth. And many nations across our world are involved in their exciting project. Every day, astronauts conduct different kinds of experiments to help us understand more about living in space. These experiments may show us how the body changes in space, or which plants will grow in space, or even what water does in space. The astronauts make careful notes about the experiments. These journals are sent back to Earth, where scientists can study what the astronauts learned and conduct additional experiments. But another important reason for astronauts to write in a journal on board the International Space Station is so NASA can keep track of how our astronauts feel on a day-to-day -day basis. Being in space for a long period of time can have negative effects on people's emotions. 
it can also be very challenging to live in a confined space for such a long period of time. So NASA asked the astronauts on board the International Space Station to keep a daily journal, where they can write down their thoughts and feelings about living in space. This helps NASA scientists and engineers back on Earth do a better job of designing the living areas on board the ISS or on future spacecraft, making it easier for astronauts to be on long-term trips to the Moon, Mars, or beyond. But the information scientists learn from the astronauts' journals will do more than just help future space missions. The lessons also apply to explorations where people spend long periods of time alone or in small and cramped living conditions. Think about explorers in the Antarctic, or sailors living on board submarines that sail deep below the ocean's surface. And much of what we learn from the astronauts on board the ISS can actually help you and me make good choices about things like sleep, exercise, and food. Wow, Globy, it sure is important to keep a journal. So many famous scientists and explorers were able to achieve great things because they could look back at what they had written in their journals. And what a great way to share what they were learning firsthand. You may want to start writing a journal yourself. Writing can be fun, and who knows what discoveries you can come up with when you have a chance to look back at your previous thoughts and ideas. Who knows? Maybe the next generation of scientists and explorers may be standing on your shoulders.